that I am. I keep this because, see it's a bird? Well, this is for the Home Depot. <laughs> cool, eh? I save all my lint out of my dryer and I save all of my hair from like, you know, the shower. And then what I do is I put that all together in a little chiskabob cage and I hang it up for the birds. It's like a bird's Home Depot. So, because you know what? There's a plaque out there. It's hanging on the wall. Somewhere, I don't know where. Yeah, right there. That one. And it says that God feeds the birds. And he never puts food in their nest. I think this is kind of when I really started to feel desperate. When I couldn't even afford to feed the birds anymore. You know, and I thought, ah, the hell with it. I'll just start selling everything and then I'll do it. I'll just keep on selling, even if I have to sell my soul. Even if I have to be a prostitute in Canada so I can sue my 78-year-old mother with Alzheimer's. What a disgusting daughter I am. My mother is so disappointed. So am I. Yep, there's a shadow there right now, but the shadow will go away. There's that tree. Look how much it grew from that picture that I tweeted earlier today. You know, the flags are flying proud. It's somebody else's house. But it's okay. I'm getting used to it. After a while, I don't know the black and white blend to make gray. But really, I'm not proud to be a Canadian anymore. I think Canada's crazy. I can't believe what's going on in our government at every single level. From the bottom all the way to the top and from the top all the way back down to the bottom again. Honestly, I think the only place you're better is under. Sucks. Suicide sucks. Suicide really sucks. I live with suicide every day. I live having lost by suicide. <laughs> and I live not wanting to lose me by suicide. <laughs> and the OIPRD says my complaint was frivolous. And Stephen Harper, you and your mandatory sentences. Ouch. I need you to speak to me and then I need you to speak to President Barack Obama and ask him if he would like to be me. And if Captain Jack Cottrell gave his child a loaded derringer in a sock, please. Because that's what he did to me. And I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay that you left our border open, you quack. You didn't even stop him from coming back. The gun, the gun was registered to him in America, but he gave it to a 14-year-old medically fragile child in Canada, sir. Sorry, that's just my opinion. Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty upset here again. It's family weekend, and I'm alone. My whole family was pretend apparently for real there's their wedding photograph that would be Jeremy 
Yep. Good old Jeremy. My dad was a surrogate dad, and he said, Welcome to Tough Love. Now you may go. And he ensured that his associate pastor came out to the parking lot to make sure nobody else could help me. Look at this. This is etiquette for Canada's national flag. This is a real piece of history I'm going to show you. Really, I think the Lord just opened the door. This is the kind of person I am, a bit histrionic. Look at that. Typewritten. Look at that. Miss Amy Pritchard, 1528 Kennedy Street, number 20. Sudbury, Ontario. I do believe I went there. February 5th, 1976. From Ottawa. This is outrageous. This is typewritten and look at how much care I took of it. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Here's the etiquette. I even had it all done up like that. What's the printing date? Can't even see that. Wow. Look at all my grandmother's stuff. This is all a nanny stuff. Wow, I didn't even realize I had this treasure. Oh my gosh, look at what I have here. Nanny. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. You had Alzheimer's. Remember, you would always call me to come and get you out of trouble, like pick up the cart. Look at that. There's your certificate of Canadian citizenship. Amy Pritchard. What made you leave Ulster anyways? I know, because we did our interview. But isn't this radical? Look at this for antique, man. Hand typed by somebody on a little flippin' like typewriter, I guess. Wow, that's pretty crazy. What's this? Oh my God, this is so outrageous. I'm going to read it to you. Right here and now. While I hold this blinking thing up to the sky. What's this? This would have been, I guess, the little immigration card. Wow. Crazy. Wow, this is a real treasure in Canada today. I never knew I was getting into all of this. That's an eye fly right there, the red hand of Ulster. But it's wrapped around the pole in honor of Canada's day, see? So I won't be disrespectful. But anyways, yeah, here's the Canadian flag. This is an important step that you have taken. Important for you and important for Canada. For you it means an opportunity to share fully in the blessings of this land and equally important, a responsibility to play your part to preserve and strengthen the ideals upon which our country rests. For Canada, it means that you have chosen this among all the nations of the world as the one which you want to call home. We are honored by your choice. With the rights and privileges you have acquired, as well as the obligations which your citizenship carries, you share with all Canadians the ancient liberties of a free people living together in harmony under a democratic government which recognizes the rights of all of its citizens. Again, my congratulations. May the future hold for you a full measure of the happiness which is Canada. And it's signed by Hugh Faulkner. For real. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. That's Ottawa 1976. So how far have we come? 
Wow. Can we get back? I don't know that we can. But I must remain hopeful. And I guess they gave a little pin for your lapel on the ladder. I guess I have to remain hopeful. Okay, let's talk, Stephen Harper. Did you really mean to give my kid a death sentence? Because that's what it could be, you know. And don't think I'm exaggerating that, like the police saying they get a complaint every second. Because I am not. <laughs>